Okay, so once you purchase the Golf Buddy World Unit or the Platinum Unit, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to our website and you're going to type in www.golfbuddyglobal.com. You're going to be presented with our homepage and you can do one of two things. You can either go to support and then click on download to download the course manager or you can just click on the bottom uh, link right here where it will download the course manager page. Uh, once you're at the page, you're going to click on your Windows or Mac. In this case, we're going to click on the Windows because we're using a Windows computer. And the next thing that's going to pop you is, do you want to run or save this file? Um, it's, a 50, it's a 54 meg file, so if you want to run it, uh, that's fine. Uh, however, in this case, we're just going to go and save it, and we're going to save it on our desktop. So once it completes downloading, you're going to be uh, seeing a little pop-up uh, that's going to ask you to go ahead and open. So we're going to go ahead and actually run, sorry. So we're going to click on run. And depending on your connection or your, your, uh, your firewall or your security setting, uh, it's going to ask you if you want to run it because it's not sure. So we're just going to go ahead and run it because, again, it is our Golf Buddy program. And we're going to install it in English. And it should take roughly three minutes at most to install it on your computer. So we're just going to go and click on Next and Install. And it's going to go in and save it uh, on your computer. So it's finished, so we're going to click on finish, and we are going to go ahead and just minimize this page for now. So you're going to notice two things on the desktop, you're going to notice the file we downloaded, which was the installation folder, or the file. Uh, this one you can uh, delete later on. Initially it's going to go in and start with the Golf Buddy Manager program, in, uh, startup. Uh, since we don't have a, an account, we're going to click on the yellow sign up. And what it's going to do is open up our sign up page. Um, you want to make sure that uh, you read the uh, instruction right here. Uh, again, uh, make sure you don't use any capitals, uh, any symbols or spaces for your user ID. Uh, in this case, we're going to use test123. And you always want to click on the blue check availability. Now, if it says available, that means you're more than welcome to use it and it is available. So click on the blue OK button. If you, click, uh, if you click on the close or the X on the upper right hand side, that's actually going to go ahead and default it as that you did not check it. So you're not going to go through with this uh, registration. Uh, password, we'll just use 1234. Um, I'll just go and use the, um, just fill in the other blanks. Now for your street address, you want to just go in and use your home address or uh, you know your work address. Um, one thing you also want to remember is during the, uh, the street address, city, uh, phone numbers, uh, you want to stay away from the symbols uh, as much as possible. Uh, we'll just use today. For email, um, we use email for two things. Um, if your unit is ever stolen or you forget your uh, user ID or password, we will verify with your email. Uh, or uh, you can also get updates on the email. Um, again, you don't need to put, uh, you know, if you don't want to put anything, you can just skip over, I believe. And I don't think that's correct. <laughs> Uh, you can always put no. Uh, mobile number, not really important. Your phone number, however, again, uh, to verify uh, what your, if you lost your unit or, you know. Once you're done, click on the submit button um, and you're gonna see join success. This means that your account has been created and you're, you're free to log in now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and minimize the page one more time. We're going to click on our Golf Buddy World Course Manager icon and we're going to go and start it up. Uh, we're going to go and use test123. Password was 1234. Uh, make sure that the unit is connected to the computer with the data cable provided. And once your unit boots up, 
uh, go ahead and click on login. Once you click on login, the program will try to connect with our data server online uh, and it'll make updates to the program itself uh, before updating your unit. And after that, we'll be able to update uh, the unit as well. So the first step is to find the device. Uh, the program will do that on its own. Um, and every time you uh, save a score or there's any uh, scores on the unit itself, um, you know, you'll find um, a little pop-up that says, do you want to save new scores? Uh, in this instance, we're going to click on no. Uh, it shows that the connection has been made, so we're going to click on next. And on this step, it does show you whether or not you need a new firmware. Uh, this is automatic. You don't have any other option on it. Uh, and as you can see, it says a new firmware is available. So we're going to click on next to uh, update the unit. On the top, you're going to notice it is downloading one of one file. Uh, and once that's done, that's going to go and copy over to the unit. Okay, once the firmware update on the unit is complete, you will be taken to step three, which is to select the, uh, the courses, or in this case, uh, the country and, uh, and province or state. Uh, you'll notice on the top, uh, it'll say world course. Underneath that will be United States with a little plus marker on the left. Uh, the square boxes, uh, you can always um, put a tick mark and that will go ahead and select that country or state uh, and, and have it available for up, uh, update. Um, before we do that, on the left side, you're going to see course download, search courses, profile, score, and support tab. The course download is the current page we're looking at. Uh, the search course is just like our website. Um, if you click on that, you'll be presented with uh, entry options uh, like the country, uh, what state or province, uh, even the state, or if you know the name of it, uh, you know, the name of the course. Uh, and it'll be listed and you'll be able to switch pages on the bottom of the page. The profile feature uh, allows you to go ahead and in, uh, insert pictures, uh, update your name and your phone number on your unit. So every time you turn it on, you'll see your information pop up. And on the bottom of the system information, you're gonna see the device, the operating system software uh, version number, the application version number, uh, and the database number, and also your serial number. Uh, for the score, if you have any scores saved on your unit, it'll automatically transfer it to the Golf Buddy Manager program. Um, if you have any scores, uh, it will go in and display what day uh, that it was played, uh, what course, and if you select that, give you the, uh, the, the breakdown. Supports page, uh, we are currently working on, uh, and any updates will be on this tab as well. So we're gonna go back to the course download. Uh, we're gonna just pick a random country, let's pick Bahamas, and we're gonna click on uh, the tick mark, make sure the tick mark is there, and click on next. It'll come up with a pop-up asking if you wanna overwrite all courses for that particular selection or just the newly updated ones. We're gonna leave the tick mark the way it is and click OK. And on the top, you'll notice that the blue bars went across, uh, downloading, copying, and we are done. So once you see update complete, what you wanna do is on your Golf Buddy unit, go ahead and tap on the exit syncing mode. And once that is done, uh, disconnect the cable from your unit and you are free to turn off the program on your computer as well.